Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. This is a Chavez. I have not opened the box yet. I'm pretty excited. It is uh, not an entirely new model, but it's uh, it's a model that has a very interesting new element to it. One that I expect to find very interesting and one that I expect you all to find very interesting. <clears throat> this was provided to me uh, for review by eKnives. You guys can check out eKnives down in the description. If you have never shopped at eKnives, you definitely should. Uh, they are on my own personal uh, rotation, and I order from them very often. So uh, check them out. By the time you're watching this video, this will have been released. I don't know if it will be readily available. I would imagine it's going to be very popular given the popularity of this model in the past, right? Um, but I will link it down below so you guys can check. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Okay. Um... I have the oh, we're just we're just jumping right into it, huh? So it comes with the I know because people are like that skull. I I have to complain about the skull because the skull clip, right? That's fine. Here, look, it has the thing, right? Here's it. Now people are like, but I want the screws in the eye holes because I, oh darn it, I they gave me the clip that I wanted, so now I don't have anything to complain. I'm just kidding, right? People are gonna complain no matter what. I don't really care. So this is the two two nine, but look at this. Oh, it's got a flipper tab. Big deal, right? <laughs> Where did it go? It's still back here. This is the uh, the kickstop version. Look at that. The kickstop version of the Redemption 229. I am so glad they sent me this Tanto one because mine, the one that I have here, let me get it out for you guys so you can see. Oh my gosh, my laptop is on it. There we go. Um... My, uh, the one that I've had forever from 2019 is the titanium frame lock variant with, um, the drop point, the compound drop point blade. So it's nice to have the Tanto to compare to. So this is the same thing, except like it's, it's literally the same, except you can see we have, this area is a little different. We no longer have this enlarged sharpening choil area. I'm hesitant to call that a finger choil. Um, this is kind of just flattened out, which I honestly think is better. I think that's a safer and more natural feeling choke up where you're not like running your knuckle into the sharpened cutting edge. So I think this is actually better. Um, and this is still M390, still have the, uh, you know, the steel lock bar insert and all of that. But you can see here how this flipper tab comes around and uh, sticks out once the blade is in the closed position. But then when you flip it, which, man... I do not know what it is about these because I experienced this for the first time on the F-22, right? Um, the the kickstop. And I thought, what is it about this flipper tab that is making this feel so much more crisp and so much more, you know, it's got just the blade is so much more motivated to fly out into the open position. Not to say that the standard versions of these aren't good with the thumb studs, right? But it looks so nice without the stud and without the flipper tab sticking out in the open position. The action is still really nice. These are still, to my knowledge, made by Riot, right? But that flipper tab, <laughs> the benefit here, if you can imagine with me, if the flipper tab came around as it does with, let's get out a, uh, let's get out a titanium frame lock flipper. Here we go. As it normally does, right? Then. Even in the case of this knife, the Varga VBR, where we have a nice, large uh, forward choil, you're still kind of, this is still kind of ergonomically in the way. You will have to choose between this distinct hand position or this distinct hand position. Whereas here, you can kind of put your hands wherever you want without having to rest your finger on this enlarged peak, right? Man, that is cool. I immediately like this. I have been tempted to buy that F22 so many times because of this kickstop flipper and the fact that this is being implemented on an already amazing model like the 229 makes me really, really excited to see if they start putting it on other knives. I think this sort of disappearing kickstop flipper idea is really awesome. You can kind of see how that works. It just sits in there 
until the blade comes back around and it pushes it out into the open position, right? So let's see if I can. So it we're, we're swinging free here. You can see there's the, come on now, there's a little ledge. So let's zoom in because the thing is just not wanting to focus. Here we go. So you can see the ledge right, right there, right? Come on, focus, we're so close. So once this contacts it, then, then it pushes it out into the open position. Sorry, we were, but see, right there. I think you guys kind of get how that works, right? I don't think you really need that detailed of an explanation. Sorry. But uh, very, very cool. Outside of that, it looks to be the same. Um, is it a bit thinner, though? Hold on. They're not... No, no, it isn't. I think it is almost the same. So the jimping has been moved down slightly. If we're going to put these things pivot to pivot, right? You can see here, we're pivot to pivot. The jimping has been moved down slightly. I don't know what the point of that was. I guess the starting position of the swedge has been moved up. No. Yeah, it has. <laughs> or maybe is that just because this is the Tanto version? I don't know. Now, if we're going out here to the tip, it looks like the start of the swedge is about in the same position as it has been. Um, down at the edge, I mean, it feels about the same, right? It's That's the consistency of Riot stuff, right? Um, that is really, really cool. I think because I have one with the skull clip for the review, I honestly don't know if E-Knives intended for me to keep this. I need to clarify, right? So they're not like, hey, uh, can you send her a knife back? <laughs> I never know, right? So I got to check with them. Um, but uh, if this ends up being mine, I think I might actually put the standard clip on it just because, you know, this guy, this is an OG, not an OG. That was the, the custom or the 228 American version. Um, but this was um, one of the initial Riot ones released back when they, you know, announced that they were going to be collaborating with Riot. So now that I have this one, I think I might actually do this clip. But um, here, here's the information on the kickstop, or at least the logo there. The Lee Williams kickstop. That's what I was brain farting on. I was like, who is the guy behind it? Lee Williams, right? Like I said, this will be linked down below. This is, I would say, exclusively a light switch flipper tab. But the fact that it is designed to do that and actually does it perfectly means that pretty much anybody who picks this knife up, right, you don't need to worry about... <laughs> it's not like people generally have a problem flipping knives, right? But... You don't need to worry about like adapting to this. This, I can tell you right off the bat, if you order this uh, and get it in hand, you're gonna flip it and go, holy crap, that is amazing, and it feels absolutely natural. I think the D10 is tuned perfectly, and again, these kickstop flippers, for some reason, feel like they're creating more force. Uh, if you have uh, a knife with a kickstop flipper on it, I would like to hear if your thoughts mimic mine or echo mine. Um, don't feel obligated, I mean, obviously tell the truth, but. I think these fl things flip super hard and it feels really, really satisfying. I also just really love the fact that the flipper tab disappears. That is just awesome, right? Okay. I will do a full review on this knife even though it's not really that much different. Um, it'll probably just be a shorter review so you can expect to see that. I'm gonna carry and use this knife, right? So you can expect to see that in a couple of weeks. But uh, thanks again to E-Knives for allowing me to check this out. Make sure that you check out E-Knives. I'll put them down in the description and I'll also link this guy specifically. Again, these will be available in Drop Point and Tanto. They should make a, a PVD or a DLC one, right? Uh, yeah, Chavez, Riyadh. Do a black one. I think that'd be cool. Have, have they done that yet? I don't know. Anyways, um, that's going to be pretty much it today. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.